Honestly, this watch makes me feel like a Formula 1 racer. Seriously, the lines, the colors, and the curves of it makes it look like it wants you to go fast, especially when paired with this amazing strap that costs just about $7. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any reviews, head to head, or quick time. And follow me on Instagram and come along with me on my watch collecting journey. To be honest, I wanted the white dial version, but it was sold out everywhere, so I had to settle for this red one. But four months later, and I still can't get enough of it. This is the most unique piece in my collection at the moment. And I think it will stay that way until the end of time. Unless of course, a new piece come along. While I see a resemblance between this and the Omega Speedmaster, I still think this watch has a place in a chronograph team collection. A unique design feature on this watch that makes it striking is the use of a PVD coated black bezel, unique sub dial shape, and the honeycomb textured dial. The black bezel helps to contain the dimension of the case, making it look smaller than the 41.4 millimeter might suggest, because as we know it, black has a slimming effect. In terms of finishing, they're acceptable. Nothing really to write home about. But for this price, which is around $280, I'm pleased to see that it has a nicely done bevel edge that received better than average polishing compared to what you would find on a Seiko 5 of yesteryear. To get into more details of how the watch is finished, we have a vertically brushed top that is flanked by polished bevel edges on the inner locks as well as on the outer edge of the case. The case side has a brushing that runs along the length of the case. The case back is solid, with Makina Sportiva laser edge on. This is Italian for sports car. I understand why Seiko would choose such a name as there are little details on this watch that I just can't seem to pinpoint that makes me want to drive really fast, even when I'm wearing it driving my eco car. The pushers are shaped similar to an engine's cylinder head. I believe we call this a pump style pusher chronograph. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. The crown is unsigned, with deep grooves that are easy to grip and turn despite being small. Moving on to the dimension and the movement within this watch. This watch has a diameter of 41.4 mm, lock distance of 20 mm, thickness of 12.1 mm, and a lock to lock of 49 mm. It comes with a V176 solar quartz chronograph movement with an accuracy rating of plus to minus 15 seconds per month. It is a no jewel movement but seems to be serviceable. You can check out some tutorials online to see this movement being serviced. Therefore, I would rest easy as far as the longevity and the durability of this movement is concerned. The dial of this watch is the sportiest as well as having the best proportion out of any Seiko Solar chronograph out there. The red dial has a honeycomb texture with alternating deep and bright red sections. The darker hexagons has a diagonal rich line etching which adds to the three-dimensional nature of this watch. The ray heart of this watch also contains a tachymeter printed in white over a red background. There are three subdials on this watch. The running second is on the left and done in a hexagon style with crosshair markings instead of the traditional marker. This ties in nicely with the dial texture. The top subdial is a 20th second register that runs for one minute to save power. It still keeps time though, so when you stop the chronograph, Past the one minute mark, it will sweep to the correct value. The bottom dial is the minute counter, and this watch can count up to 60 minutes and then stop. This sub dial is a bit difficult to read at a glance. You have to look really close to know where the hands are pointing on the hash mark. The three sub dial on this watch is also where you can see the solar panel on this watch. Citizen does a better job hiding the solar panels on their watches. Even on the cheapest of eco drive, you will be hard pressed to find the solar panels. This is one area Seiko really needs to work on. The handset on this watch is done in all white, and it seems to be white paint coated steel hands, but I can't confirm that. However, what I can confirm is that it has a sapphire crystal, and the dead window being so sunken, it's almost useless at times. The hour markers are applied. Each one has a polished edge with matte white midsection. They are decent and add a little bling to your watch as they reflect light nicely when you move your wrist around. The bezel is, as mentioned, black PVD coated. It has a circular brushing on top and high polish on the side and the underside. I was skeptical at first about the PVD coating because I'm not a fan of PVD coating, 
but after almost five months of use, I still can't find a scratch on it. The loom is applied sparingly, but enough for you to orient the watch at night to check the time. There is a loom dot at 12, and both the hour and minute hands are loomed. They don't last long though. Operating the chronograph is straightforward. Press the top pusher to start and stop. Press the bottom pusher to reset, and the hands will sweep back to zero. The actions of these pushers are decent much better than on many eco drives and Casio edifice chronographs I've tried in the past. There is a defined soft click to the action to let you know that something has been activated. On the wrist, it feels great and looks well proportioned. The bracelet it comes with is all right. Nothing special, but nothing bad either. They are all solid links with folded end links and stamped clasp. I much prefer it on this rubber strap because the color matches the dial perfectly and it gives the watch an even sportier look. Overall, this is a great affordable motorsports chronograph that will require very little service and care over the year. It is very well proportioned and nicely built for the price. Just switch out the bracelet for this cheap FKM rubber strap that you can find on AliExpress. Link in the description if you're interested and you will not be disappointed. Stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this review with your friends. Follow me on Instagram and see you next time. Peace.